Guys, uh, why don't you head over to the Cardis because I just reviewed the new iPod Touch 5th uh, generation. So if you want to go check that out, go click in the description for a link for that. I just wanted to do something different and tell me what you guys think. So let's get on with reviewing. I'm reviewing the Ace Fulton's Sun, uh, Sun, Sunlight, I think it's called, or Sunset Deck. Um, so uh, it's the Sunset or Sunlight, one of the two, so we'll just go over that. But let's get on with it and straight away we can see on the front of the box it has um, it's orange the whole way round the box, there's, there's no different, and the front and the back are identical, there's no differences whatsoever, obviously uh, this deck is embossed because it's by Dan and Dave, and most decks are embossed by Dan and Dave, it's really nice feeling in your hand. Um, I want to really prove how orange this is, my camera is like, it's not obviously not going to be so orange because it's, compared to an orange bicycle, you can see how orange it actually really is, the whole deck is bright bright orange. Like a really nice, and it's really nice orange, obviously, you know. Nothing against the orange, it really does look nice. So on the front it has Ace Folsom Casino, uh, with this bar going down on the same on the other side. We have Ace Fulton Casino in Las Vegas and the, well there, and the address. And then we have distributed by Dan and Dave Plank, our company. We have Cambric 37, made in the USA, and then on the top, Fulton's. And then that's it for the box, nothing too special with that. On the tab we have like the Nace Spades logo and then we have complements of 37, that is the Cambric 37. Nothing else inside the box itself. Okay, so inside the deck we receive. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but when I got this it was a, it's a bit poor, poor condition. But I have received one joker, or one female, that has um, booby. Uh, then he has these cherries in her, her hair. Uh, the clubs, the hearts, and all the pips signs there. It's a bit weird. Then we have live Brendan Fulton's world tip sheet with a horse head, and it says play the po ponies. Best house bet um, beating in betting in Vegas uh, live on the jumbo tron. Tron, yeah. Then we have a Ace Fulton's. Uh, this is Pocket Room and Lounge, and there's a phone number to promote their little company. I'll just turn over none of them actually. Then we get to, let's go over the back design before we get into the pips themselves, because a lot of people like me getting into the pips nowadays actually. So that's always good to make your subscribers happy. Okay, so the pips. What well, I'm missing some. Oh, I, put, I haven't put these in the right order. Okay, so the pips, as you can see, it's in a nice background with like this little indent there, and it has white border, and it's Ace Fault and Casino, Ace Fault and Casino, mirrored back, as you can see, exactly the same on both sides, and it's nice and orange. Looks, it's more of an orangey red, so that's very nice to see. Let's go on with the Ace of Spades. This is the card that everyone is very interested in, as usual. Um, so let's go on with it. So you can see this is exactly the same that it was on the tab. This is Dan Dave playing my company, it's got this nice little design and it does stand out. The pips are very tiny, I mean like really tiny as you can see, but that's always good if you're fanning or if you're doing this, It's uh, you can see more and that more is always better. So you can see on the pips they have this new little design where they have the pip, they put it on and like cut it out so it comes up with a funny little logo. I'm not going to go through all of them but I'll just skim through so you can see every single card in the whole entire deck like this. There's very... And it's on every single card, okay, apart from the royalty. Here's the royalty, we have red and uh, like the, the V6 ones with the small pips. Then we get to the red ones, as you can see, same royalty, but red. And now I'll quickly go over the, um, see there's a heart there, and there's either hearts going through the whole entire deck. We get to the clubs, same, same royalty as the spades. So we have a club there, and it carry on going through the whole entire deck. Oh, and then we have Big Pip Club there. Then we have the re uh, ki uh, diamonds, and exactly the same, there's a diamond mark there, and that goes through the whole entire deck, as I have just said, just there. Okay, let's put them all together and see how they handle together. Okay, let's collect them up. They don't, that's one bad thing about them, they're very this deck, I received it in bad condition by Cards Fallen, so that's he didn't do it. He did a fake trade, so um, he sent me bad stuff. But he said he would send it all sealed, so I received it bad conditioned. But it fans great, sorry, it spreads great. 
Uh, flips okay, it's a bit sti uh, stuck together a little bit. Uh, triple shuffles, good. Springs, okay. Dribbles a bit laggy, riffle shuffle. Every deck can do a riffle shuffle, really. Fan, um, fan's pretty good, actually. Oh, fan's all right, actually, nothing bad with that. Uh, so this is a very nice deck that you should definitely go add to your collection, really. It's a very nice looking deck that I would highly recommend. It looks great, um, does handle great, brand new, but it will obviously go after time because that's what every single deck does, it won't last forever. So if you guys would like to go pick this deck up, um, you can go get it from many websites, probably eBay. Go check out the um, video on the iPod Touch review and click the subscribe button because one, you'll get entered into my contest and two, you'll be hitting me near 2,000 subscribers and three, it's just a really nice gesture that you guys can make. That's it. See you guys next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.